Palatka, Florida. In the great American success story, it's the kind of town the hero leaves so he can chase his dreams somewhere else. But John L. Williams keeps coming back. For when the NFL beats him down, it's a shot of love from home that gives him the courage to go on. I called him every, every night and uh, talked to my mom and I tell her what's going on and she tell me to hang in there and keep going and, and she strengthened me up every time that I talk to her on the phone and, and it makes me feel so good that they realize what I am going through out there on the football field. It's probably not what Mrs. Williams had in mind. But her son plays power football for the Seattle Seahawks. As a young fullback, John L. proved he was willing to pay the price for every yard he gained. But what was even more impressive was his willingness to put his personal goals aside to become the blocking back for Kurt Warner. Aside from two days as a lineman in the ninth grade, John L. was a novice as a blocker. But as he helped Warner to two all-pro seasons, Williams grew determined to make the most of his new role. You got to have a lot of pride to determine what you're going to do at that given point because if you're going to block, you know that you're going in there and you got to ram your head in there and the other guy's going to get all the publicity if he get in the end zone. He may have been playing second fiddle, but John L. became a virtuoso. For nearly two full seasons, he labored in the shadows while others enjoyed the limelight until the final game of the 1987 season, when John L. flashed some game-breaking ability of his own. This 75-yard touchdown gave John L. a taste of the spotlight and encouragement for the future. And that helps me out a whole lot, gave me a whole lot of confidence to know that I can do a whole lot more thing than just run up in there and ram my head into somebody and help somebody else out. In 1988, John L. spun out on his own. John L. carried the load for the Seahawks all the way to the threshold of their first ever division title. It all boiled down to a one-game showdown with the Los Angeles Raiders, and Seattle summoned John L. to deliver the championship. The Raiders were up ahead of us, and we decided to run the same play. Same play we did in Chicago, where I had a 75-yard run in, and I would if it didn't work out the same way it worked out in Chicago. With Malcolm Taylor playing on the inside, Craig takes the pitch back, drops back the pass, throws a little medium screen that's caught at the 30-yard line, 35, John L. breaks up field, a long run man, and breaks into the open, and could be on his way for a touchdown. Pursuit from behind at the five, touchdown Seahawks! I told you that was going to be a big play. Malcolm Taylor was chasing you down, bud. And we knew right then that it was for real, and it was just so much... It was just such a big thrill on the sideline, knowing that it was our first divisional championship that we win. And that night, back home, they got the happiest phone call of John L's career. Eight for number seven. 